Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to slash now.in. Today I'll tell you how to change your Drupal theme. I'll also tell you how to download and install a new theme. And <clears throat> I'll begin with the basics of CSS where I'll tell you how to do the uh, modifications in your CSS file to uh, change the font size and to add different colors to your uh, different elements of the Drupal theme. So uh, let me show you the default uh, uh, installation that I have set up here for the demo purpose. And here you can see I have promoted two nodes on the home page. And on the left side, I have uh, three blocks. The first one is the search block. The second one is the navigation block. And the third one is the view that I created for listing the recent content. So uh, uh, pretty much simple layout here and uh, not much of a content. But uh, uh, I'll tell you how to you know change the color of the uh, links and uh, and very basic things that I would cover in this video because uh, if you are new to Drupal and uh, if you are using uh, 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 themes then uh, maybe in some point in future you want to change the appearance and uh, CSS is the place where you will do all your modification in the uh, design. So uh, let me show you how to first change your themes. So uh, if you have admin menu installed then you can click on the appearance and then click on the list link here and uh, once you do it you will get this page where you will see all the themes that are available along with the default Drupal installation and uh, you can see that right now Bartik theme is enabled for our website but uh, uh, if you want you can also enable other themes like uh, let us say if you want to enable Garland so you can click here set as default and this theme will be applied to your website so let me show you quickly how it looks so uh, themes are uh, really a great way to manage your designs uh, in uh, in a Drupal website where, where you can uh, uh, keeping the same content and uh, uh, the blocks and the pages, you can change the uh, appearance by simply, uh, you know, changing theme. So you can see that I have applied the garland theme and uh, here you can see that the layout is pretty much same. Uh, it is same uh, two nodes uh, promoted to the home page and the same navigation and the view on the left sidebar. So a uh, very, very simple thing you can, uh, I mean, you, you can see here that everything is same, the content is same, but the, the but the appearance is now different. So let me quickly switch back to the old theme and uh, here you go. I'll switch back to the old Bartik default theme. And uh, in this video, I'll also show you very quickly how to download new theme from drupal.org. So let me go back to the home page and uh, I'll wait for it to refresh. Okay, so you can see that uh, uh, the old theme is now back. So let me go back to uh, drupal.org and uh, here uh, when you go to drupal.org, uh, you can browse the themes. Uh, there are lots of theme available that you can download freely and uh, uh, download it to your uh, website. So I like this theme. Uh, called as Danland and uh, I will install it. So you need to click on the theme page here. The URL of the theme is uh, drupal.org slash project slash Danland and uh, you can view the uh, description and if you want you can also check out the demo uh, demo site for this theme. Uh, I mean if you want to before installing this theme on your lo local machine or on a website you would probably want to have a look how it looks. So if you want, you can also check this uh, demo link here. So uh, I, I, I'll uh, go below and I'll download the theme compressed version. Uh, for seven uh, version of Drupal, I will install this uh, zip 
file on my local and first of all you need to uh, download this uh, compressed zip on your local machine so i'll come to my machine and uh, here it is i've already downloaded it and i'll simply unzip it i'll say extract here so once you do it uh, i mean uh, your theme will be ready for use for our web website and uh, let me uh, wait for it to finish the extraction okay so this is done now uh, i can now delete this uh, compressed zip file okay and uh, i also want to tell you something about where to place your modules and themes that you download from drupal.org by default when you uh, set up a drupal website all your uh, files and uh, uh, directories are organized in a certain certain fashion and uh, i recommend not to uh, modify anything here you just need to be very careful where you put your themes and modules by default you will see that there are two folders on the root directory the first one is the modules and the uh, and there is a there is a different folder for themes and if you want to check out this themes folder you will see the default themes that come with the uh, drupal uh, standard package uh, you would not want to uh, download the custom contributed themes here because uh, in future if you want to update your drupal version then uh, these files will be deleted by the and you will replace them with the new files so for installing your new themes and modules you will go to the sites folder and here you will see a folder called all and then inside all folder you will see two folders here first one is the modules and second one is the themes folder and if you want to install a new theme or a module then you would place them here so uh, i have already extracted the download theme in the themes folder so i'll go back to my website and uh, i'll again go to the appearance menu and i'll click on the list okay so uh, okay so now you can see that uh, uh, the, the 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 new theme uh, download is now uh, available for uh, use in our themes section and uh, i can simply click enable and set default and this theme will then be applied to our website so let us see and uh, the downland theme basically comes with uh, two themes i mean the, the the one that i have applied right now is dan blog which is basically a sub theme of downland and uh, it it doesn't have any front page or image banner and the slide show so maybe uh, uh, i will enable the standard downland theme so uh, we will get this uh, slide show as well <clears throat> okay all right so this theme is now applied and uh, let me come to home page and uh, let it refresh okay great so now you can see uh, i just changed the theme and uh, our site looks totally different now uh, again you can notice the content is same it is the same second page and the first page that i promoted to the home page it is still there and the three blocks are, are still uh, there on the uh, on the website so uh, here you can see with some simple clicks i can uh, install a new theme well this is the default uh, i mean this is uh, the way we used to install themes uh, earlier but uh, in drupal 7 there is a possibility when uh, you want to install a new theme or a module you can uh, <coughs> directory uh, directly you can uh, give the path of the tar file which is there on the drupal site so maybe i'll show you uh, some other time how to do it and another way to install new theme or new modules is by using drush so uh, I, I, I every time i strongly recommend everyone to install drush because it is really a convenient and efficient way to install new modules and themes on our drupal website so uh, let me also quick, quickly show you how to modify the css so right now you can see this uh, second page is uh, is a link and the color of this page of this link is blue so uh, i want to change the color to something else maybe black and <clears throat> before doing it uh, let me show you uh, something uh, called as firebug well firebug is a is a plugin of firefox which you can use to identify the css that has been applied on the web page 
and uh, uh, this is uh, something which is which cannot be covered in a single video so i'll uh, i'll simply ask you to you know go to this this url getfirebug.com and install this uh, plugin here and this plugin will be installed in your firefox and once you do it you will see uh, a new menu item in your uh, when you right click on any link or any section of a web page you will see this item here which says inspect element with firebug so when i when i, when I click on it i'll see the html and the css uh, uh, settings that that are applied for this page very nicely in a structured way and uh, here you can uh, on the on the on, on the run time you, you can uh, if you want you can modify the uh, color of this uh, link so i wanted to change the color so i'll say maybe okay so uh, here you, you you can see that uh, i've applied i have applied a uh, black color to this link and uh, the location of this uh, uh, css code is inside this style.css and uh, it is approximately at line number 756 so i'll go to my theme file and uh, by the way this uh, change that we did here is not really a permanent change this is basically done on the runtime if i refresh this page uh, it will be back to the original color so let me refresh it and uh, i'll show you so you can see that uh, after the page is refreshed the color is now back to the old blue color so maybe uh, if you want to change the color to permanently to black so you can uh, go to your css file and uh, apply the color in the css so oh, i think i put extra zero here so you can go back to your css file and uh, style.css is the css file and you can open it in uh, maybe notepad++ which is a nice editor and uh, the line number was 756 so i'll directly go to that line and i'll show you how to change the color permanently i'll say control g and line number 756 uh, okay all right here it is so here you can see I can uh, I get the same code that Firebug showed me, and I'll say color to black. So now if I refresh this uh, page, this color will be permanently applied. Okay, so you can see that the color of the title is now black. Now uh, let me do something else as well. Uh, if I want to, let us say, if I want to add a background to this. Uh, title of this uh, link uh, then i can say let us say, uh, let, let me put gray color here you can see i also want to add some gaps you call them padding here you go and uh, maybe a border okay so here you can see we, we have we, we can do the changes directly on the runtime maybe i want to change the color to yellow or something okay so this is how you can do some basic changes in your css file and uh, uh, once you start making websites in drupal you would always want to uh, modify the css file to change the appearance of a website so uh, i wanted to keep this video very short and simple and uh, i hope you have learned something new today and uh, uh, in our next videos i'll also cover some of the advanced css techniques that you can use to make your drupal website look wonderful so thank you guys have a nice day